The book Mastery by Robert Greene is a deep look at how to become a master in any field. The book goes into great detail about the lives of many famous people from history and the present, including Charles Darwin, Leonardo da Vinci, and more modern figures. It gives a very good picture of how these very skilled people got so good. Green explains the way to mastery in a number of important steps and rules, each of which is shown through historical examples and psychological insights. Find your calling, the life's task, Green talks about how important it is to find your natural hobbies and passions. He calls this the life's task. He says that the only way to truly master something is to work in line with your deepest interests and natural tendencies. This point is made clearer by historical cases, such as Albert Einstein's early interest in physics. Apprenticeship, how to get better, in the second stage, called apprenticeship, a person learns from a guide and gets skills. During this time, Green stresses how important it is to be patient and keep going. He uses Benjamin Franklin as an example. Franklin learned how to write and run the government by working as a junior printer for many years before he became a master. Finding mentors and getting smarter about people, getting smarter around people and having a guide are both very important. Mentors show you the way, give you comments, and help you learn faster. Green shows this with the case of Socrates teaching Plato. Also, social intelligence, or the skill of knowing how to behave in different social settings, is an important skill for anyone who wants to learn something. Inspiration and creativity, as you go through life, inspiration and creativity become more significant. Green says that after a lot of practice and learning, a person starts to internalize their skill, which can lead to intuitive thoughts and new ideas. He uses Mozart as an example. Mozart was able to write difficult pieces with amazing imagination and intuition after years of hard training and practice. Mastery means using your skills and knowledge in a useful way. Lastly, mastery is the point where people put together what they've learned and done to make something new. At this point, the master goes beyond common ways of thought and adds something new to their field. Green uses Charles Darwin's work on the idea of evolution to show how this principle works in real life. Green weaves these ideas together with psychological research and philosophical ideas all through the book, making it a complete guide on how to start on the path to success. He says that mastery doesn't come from having a lot of ability, but from working hard, learning strategically, and not giving up. For people who want to become experts in their own fields, this book is both an inspiration and a useful guide.